we can't bring anything to him. Anything we do bring to him, he doesn't need it. If he uses it, it's just because, you know, he didn't want to make us feel bad, <laughs> you know? And but so he, he, but he, he wants us to come to him and then he wants to do the stuff from us. The only thing that we can bring that he can use is the grit not to quit. Amen. That's the only thing. We have to have the grit in us not to quit, not to stop. No matter what, no matter how hard it gets, no matter what's going on, no matter what people say, you just don't stop. You just keep going. Amen. Right? And they say, well, what if somebody dies? People are dying all the time. What if they do? Is it, is it not truth just because somebody dies? No, it's still truth. Why? Because their experience doesn't override truth, the scripture. Right? But the better you do it, the more people live. Amen. There was a point where I prayed for one guy, and he died. And I didn't know what to do. I just, I'm like, I don't get it. It's supposed to work. It has worked and worked and worked and worked. And now this guy died. He was actually the first one that died. And I said, this, I don't get it. Why did this not work? And so I just quit. I'm like, I, you know, I'm not going to do this if it doesn't work. It should work. And so I'm trying to figure out why it didn't work. And literally for about three months, I just really stopped praying for anybody outside. People would call. I'd pray for them, that kind of stuff. But there was no push. And then, and, and I'm, I'm like, God, why, why didn't this happen? And then when I went to uh, North Carolina, I was preaching one night. And I'm like, you know, and sometimes this happens. Is, you know, somebody can, can die. And I, you know, I don't know why. I asked God, God, why did this guy die? And he never spoke to me. He never told me why. And I'm telling the people this, right? Well, I'm teaching them right then. And I didn't want to hide anything. So I'm saying, look, people have died. But, it, you know, it's very, very, very few. And I said, so I don't know why. God didn't tell me why. And right when I said that, God told me why. <laughs> While I'm preaching. You know, that's the wrong time for God to speak to you. You ever notice that? That's, a, that's not the best time. But he, and, I, and I'm preaching, I said, no, I don't know why. And I'm like, glory to God. God just told me why. And everybody's like, <laughs> you know, like, everybody's like, yeah, yeah, what is it? You know? And I'm like, huh. I said, he said, when he died, I stopped. He said, and I shouldn't have stopped. I should have switched gears from healing the sick to raising the dead. I mean, think about it. If nobody ever dies, can't have any dead raisins. Right? To have, to have the dead raised, somebody's got to die. Don't have many volunteering for that part. Right? But come on. I mean, it's, but do you notice God even says, look, you can pray, you can believe, and, and if for some reason that doesn't work, and they die. Just shift gears. Go after raising the dead. Don't let the devil back you off. Tell him, oh devil, you done messed up now. Because this is going to be a greater testimony than a healing would ever be. Right? And make it cost him. 